You are welcome to Cooling Tower Experiment Session. In a cooling tower unit with open water circulation system, heat is removed from the water by heat exchange between the water and the ambient air. The higher the interfacial contact between the hot water and the cold air, the more effective the heat exchange. The capacity of the air to take water is a measure of its cooling effect. As the hair is taking up more water vapor, you will see that the humidity is increasing. As the relatively high humidity, say relative humidity of 100%, the hair is said to have reached its maximum capacity to take up water vapor and to cool it by evaporation. The aim of the experiment is to investigate and understand the inference of volumetric airflow, volumetric water flow, water temperature, and packing density on the performance parameters of the cooling tower. Now, let's see the procedure, okay, that we like to apply to perform this experiment. The first thing you do is you turn on the cooling tower units and allow to work for like five minutes. Then you turn on the computer system. Okay. And then you launch this. Now, you have to be sure that what you have on the screen here is the same as what you have on the cooling tower. Next thing is, we have to turn on our air pump and then the water pump and then we set the water flow rate to a certain number flow rate you turn this uh, valve okay you turn it this way to increase water flow rate okay and you turn it this way to reduce water flow rate you can also change your heater here depending on the heating rate that you are given by the instructor. For the sake of this experiment, we are going to set the water flow rate. So we are going to have four runs, and then we set the water flow rate to the, for the first run, 10 liter per hour. The second one, 20 liter per hour. The third, 30 liter per hour, and 40 liter per hour. All right? So we take our readings, and then we check for the humidity, the air inlet humidity, air outlet humidity, and the other parameters on the screen for those four runs. Thank you. After which, you are going to have a result as shown in table 1.0, and then we expect you to do all the calculations and analysis to test and to achieve the aim of the experiment. Thank you. Graph. Okay. You turn it this way to increase water flow rate. Okay. And you turn it this way to reduce water flow rate. You can also change your heater here depending on the heating rate that you are given by the instructor. And then you will be fine. Thank you.